Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the next episode of Tech I Like. Today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Focus Flash. Now not only is this a pretty good phone, but it also runs Windows Phone, which in my opinion is one of the best OS's around. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Focus Flash has a 3.7 inch Super AMOLED display. Now while it's definitely nothing on something like the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, it actually is really, really nice. So of course, since it's a Super AMOLED display, blacks are super, super dark, and the colors are very vibrant and very rich. It also has the same internals of pretty much every other current generation Windows phone, with a 1.4 GHz single core Qualcomm processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, as well as both a front and rear facing camera. Even though this is more of a budget model, it actually has a really nice design. So up front, like I said, there's that front facing camera as well as the screen. You also do have a pair of capacitive touch buttons as well as a physical Windows button. Flip it over on the back and you have a kind of faux metal design, which is where the battery and SIM card goes. And on top of that, of course, you do have that 5 megapixel camera as well as the speakerphone. We can talk about hardware all day long, but the most important thing is that this runs Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is an absolutely fantastic operating system. It's also really fast. So even though it's only a single core processor, whereas most phones these days are dual or even quad core, that does not detract from performance at all. Everything happens very, very fast. So opening apps, flying through menus, all that kind of stuff, it really, really just happens almost instantaneously, which is really impressive considering that this is basically last generation hardware. All Windows phones also have deep integration into Xbox Live. So when you first set up your phone, you're able to go ahead and bring in all of your information from Xbox Live over. And this means you get your gamer score, your avatar, and on top of that, you can also download new Xbox Live apps to your phone, play them, and you can even get gamer score. Probably the biggest problem with Windows phone right now is the lack of apps. Now while this is not a huge deal for the most part, generally you can find an app that does most things that you need. It is a little bit annoying when you're looking for something such as Instagram, which just flat out isn't there. However, I do expect this to change soon, as Windows 8 is going to share a lot of DNA with Windows Phone 8, and what this means is you should be able to see a lot of apps on both platforms, which should be a really nice thing for both Windows and Windows Phone. As much as I like the Focus Flash, I really can't recommend it. Not because it's a bad phone or anything, but because the Nokia Lumia 900 is coming. Now I got a hands on of this at CES and I gotta say it is absolutely fantastic. Not only does it have LTE and also a much larger display, but it has probably one of the best phone designs I've ever tried. So if you guys are interested in a Windows phone, I definitely recommend holding off for the Lumia 900, but that's not to say anything bad. I love the Focus Flash and if you're interested in a really cheap Windows phone, it is a good way to go. Anyway guys, that's gonna be about it for this week's episode of Tech I Like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that, it helps me out a lot. On top of that, if you're interested in more episodes of Tech I Like, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I do them every Saturday morning.